What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Chrissy Mack, and I'm back with another video. I just realized that I have not given you guys the backstory. Yes, the backstory. How I got kidney disease in the first place, okay? I know, you guys, I'm looking different today. Got my long hair, don't care. But anyway, so I wanted to give you guys a backstory on how I developed kidney disease. So about 2014, 2015, around that time, I was diagnosed with lupus. And at the time, I didn't even know I had lupus. I just thought it was arthritis. I used to get a lot of joint pains and just being in the sun was affecting me drastically. So I went to the doctor and I'm gonna be real with you guys, I did not accept that at first. I seen probably five different doctors until they finally said, you know what, it's lupus and there's nothing else you can do about it. Well, it was starting to affect my job. So the last doctor that I saw tried to give me medications. I refused to take any of that stuff. I was really trying to go the holistic way. Um, I gave up my job because he said, can you sell cars at night? I said, absolutely not. So I sold my house, we packed up shop, and we moved to Atlanta. I'm like, listen, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a bang. So I'm gonna live my best life. So we packed up our house, we moved here, and I got pregnant. The doctors said no children. Did we listen? No, not really. We had my son Giovanni. So I have a little surprise for you guys today. This is my baby. Say hi, Gio. Say hi. This is my baby and even though I had battled to get him here, he's here, he's safe, he's sound. I don't really care about the kidney disease. He was worth every bit of the pain and struggle. This is my baby boy. He makes me happy. He give mommy lots of kisses. Kiss? Or my kiss? Yeah! So he's my big man. He's my superhero, right? He protects me. He keeps me going every single day and I am so blessed to have him in my life. It took me eight doctors just to get through that pregnancy. When they found out that I had lupus, I had eight different doctors. But they tried to put me on medications, they tried to do all this stuff, and I'm like, absolutely not. You guys don't know my God, my God is a good God, and I am not taking any medications because I'm not gonna have any issues with my child. I just, put my husband and I just prayed over my belly every night, every day, as much as we can, and we did have a healthy boy. But during the pregnancy, I was referred to a doctor, a nephrologist. And at that time, they started letting me know that, you know, my kidneys were being affected. And maybe the pregnancy was just too much on my body already dealing with lupus. I mean, it is a lot in its own. And she was like, hey, you're going to have to take these meds. And I'm like, I'm not taking any meds. And she was like, okay, well, then we'll wait till after the pregnancy. I don't know how long it's going to B, I don't know if your kidneys can withstand the whole pregnancy. And I'm just like, well, we have no choice because I'm going to bring him in or I'm going to die trying. We said no medications. We would wait. After I had Giovanni, the kidney started going, but it wasn't that far gone yet. Um, but with kidney disease, you don't feel it. Your body doesn't feel any changes. And I never knew how bad it really was. Then I had a kidney biopsy done and that is when everything unfolded and I realized I was at the far gone stage and you know probably maybe two years went by and I got really sick one time what November 2019 I got really really sick I ended up in a hospital I was in the hospital for 14 days straight at that time they did all the testing they were running everything um, I was already dealing with so much already because my lupus was in a flare. Since the biopsy showed those results and other blood work and everything was going on, they say, you know what, I think it's time for dialysis. I did not want to do dialysis. First of all, I didn't even know what dialysis was to begin with, but I knew that was something I didn't want to do. So as the days went, because they kept me there, like I said, for 14 days. And as we got closer, they said, okay, are you ready? You wanna do dialysis? And I said, you know what? I'm feeling like crap, I don't feel good. Let's just go ahead, because the toxins are building up in my body. So they went ahead, they did a surgery, they put a port in my chest, and I actually still have the scarring from that. They put a port in my chest, and that's how we were able to do dialysis. So my first set of treatments were in the hospital. And 
As soon as I did dialysis, I immediately felt better. Because when you do dialysis, they're taking off the extra fluid, they're cleaning out your blood, they're you know removing the toxins from your body. And so I automatically felt great as soon as that was done. So within like a day or two after, they let me go home. So I was going to dialysis after I got home and I still wasn't feeling good. Dialysis is really hard on the body. I was always sick. I was swollen on the days I didn't get to go to dialysis because my dialysis days was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The days I didn't get to go to dialysis, I was just swelling up. I didn't want to do anything. I really fell into a depression. Um, just knowing that I'm battling kidney disease, I'm battling lupus, and everything else that I went through at that time, it really put me in a deep, dark place to the point where I kind of just kind of gave up on life. I said, well, I guess I'm gonna die. I didn't see any hope. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was always saying my goodbyes to my kids and my husband, and I know that was really, really hard on them, but I just wanted to prepare them in case anything ever happened to me. But then, something good happened. I got on the transplant list. So as soon as I got on the transplant list, it brightened up my life just a little bit. And I said, oh my God, maybe I have a chance of living so I can see my kids graduate, so I can see my kids wedding. I can spend the rest of my life with my husband, traveling, growing old together, and watching our grandkids. Like I started believing again. And when I told my dad and my brother and my mom, they were so excited for me, they wanted to get tested. And my brother was so determined to give me his kidney. He didn't want my dad to do it. He didn't want my mom. He wanted to be the one to give it to me. So my brother offered and of course, duh, I accepted. <laughs> and so that's how I ended up where I am today. Happy, healthy, and strong again, y'all. Do you hear me? Happy, healthy, and strong. If you got on kidney dialysis, my tip for you is to always watch your numbers. Yes, the doctors are there, but you know your body. No one knows your body better than you do. Eat well and stay active all the time. Staying active keeps the doctors away. And I wish I was a little bit more active. Um, I come from an active family, but I wasn't. But now I am. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you know someone that can benefit from this video, share it with them. All right guys, I'll see you on the next video. We are here, we are here. Ugh. What's up? <clears throat> So I realized that I have to give you guys a backstory. No one. I re Let's start over.